I had a good feeling that uh, I'd finish it because um, I'd done a lot of training. Uh, I didn't think I would do as well as I would. Uh, that that uh, shock really shocked me. Uh, but I, before I went, that I, I knew that I, I said to myself, just every day, just give us, give everything you've got. And that's what I more or less done. Really, I didn't take it easy any of the days. I tried not to. Any. How hard was it? Yeah, it was hard. The actual running itself. Um, it was similar to what types of runs I've been doing here in not different terrain but just after the run you know there's still the intense heat trying to look after your food uh, your feet the lack of food you know it was just the next day you were going going into the race a little bit weaker and your body was a little bit battered from the day before so that was the part that I really found uh, hard to try and get yourself up for it you basically carried around everything that you needed in your backpack. I mean, how difficult was it to, to do that? Yeah, well, I got all my food and everything sorted before I went. It was all into packs, day one, all the way, day two, day three, all the way up to it. Uh, I had about uh, 2,800 uh, 2, calories a day. And then the long day, I had about uh, just over 3,000. Uh, and that was roughly what people were taking you know some people more some people less but you managed to squeeze it all in uh, there was the obviously the first aid kit and everything in there uh, there was no change of clothes uh, it was the same thing uh, wore the same thing all week uh, the only thing they give us is they give us water at the start of each race each checkpoint and uh, salt tablets the salt tablets were crucial to take them make sure they don't dehydrate yeah yeah yeah, we were taking about uh, 20 grams of uh, salt a day. Uh, in the end, I was chewing them like sweets. <laughs> they just seemed nicer to chew them than uh, just swallow them. Tell us how much your feet hurt and, and how uh, difficult it's been on them. <laughs> they're, 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 they're bad. They are bad. Uh, that's the only thing. From from my ankles up, I've, I feel fine. Everything is... Uh, there's no problem anywhere, but the feet down... Uh, Day one and day two, they weren't too, they were okay. And then from day three on, they were giving me big problems, big problems. Yeah, and I don't know, I still don't know how I was uh, running on them. I'll be honest, there was um, what made me on the long day, there's a uh, walk in for wounded with it. And uh, just kept on playing in my head over and over again, thinking about the soldiers that have. Uh, you know, lost their legs or lost their limbs out in uh, these countries and thinking, you know, the way they are, they don't, they're not moaning or nothing about uh, what's happened to them. And I was in my head whinging about blisters and losing toenails and I just thought to myself, they'll heal, you know, just keep going, keep going and they'll heal. And that, that was just going over and over in my head all the time. But tell us what it felt like to actually cross the finishing line. Yeah, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Well, there was a massive buzz. To be honest, a little bit of a downer as well. Soon, a few about you know maybe an hour later, when it all sunk in that you know all the hard months and it was over. You know, it's like, what do I do now? Type of thing, you know. But uh, yeah, yeah, I was I was over the moon with it, over the moon. And um, you've been raising money for Cancer Relief Gibraltar and the Alzheimer and Dementia Support Group, and um, I mean you must be chuffed with the response. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of messages and uh, I think uh, a lot of people have donated as well while I've been out there, so I'm over the moon with it uh, for both charities. Uh, this is what it was all about uh, to start with. It was uh, about uh, my grandmother who uh, died from Alzheimer's, so uh, this is where uh, the, everything got started about this race and then I uh, got the cancer charity involved as well. So yeah, everything that I raise now, it's going to take a bit of time just to try and count it all up and then... Uh, get it all to them then. But all the hard work that I put in, that it'll go towards these two charities now and they'll benefit from it.